Hello everyone, this is Nicole with HelpMamaRemote.com and today I'm coming to share with you my kitchen hutch organization. So let me tell you a little bit about this piece. You know, every piece in my house almost has a story. <laughs> but this hutch my husband and I found at the Goodwill. It was around $39.99, so a really reasonable price. It was originally brown. Took me a while before I painted it, maybe even a couple years. And I recently, I believe it was last year, I painted this hutch yellow when I moved it into my kitchen. What I house in this hutch are my baking items, things that I use to prepare everyone's lunch, as well as our breakfast items. So let me show you the decor first because you know how we gotta do it. We gotta decorate stuff, right? So let's start with the top of the hutch. Now on the top of the hutch, I have two vintage ice cream makers. The one on the left is a very large one and I got it from an antique shop. Along with these thermos here, I picked those up from the thrift store at different times. And then on the left side as well, I have a rolling pin that I picked up from the thrift store. Here in the middle, I have the second ice cream maker. And I have rolling pins in here. As you see, I collect rolling pins. So I put those in here, some of the rolling pins that I have found. The rolling pin in front of that land on top of the hutch. A friend of mine, Tony from the Morno, sent me that rolling pin and you can open it up and put ice in it so it's really cool a really really nice rolling pin so I have that one up there at the top and then on the far right side I just have like a basket and I had picked that up from Pier 1 many many years ago when we had a Pier 1 outlet here and then I have that vintage lantern there that I picked up at an antique shop as well the same antique shop that I picked up my ice cream vintage ice cream maker on the left. Oh, and I don't know if I said, the ice cream maker that's in the middle here, that's a thrift store find. Inside the hutch in the glass cabinets, I house a lot of my bowls that I use to mix batters and some decor. So here on the left side, I have these vintage bowls here and this little vintage cookie cutter thingy there. That's just for decoration. And on this bottom shelf here, I have some marshmallows. This container is empty. I have powdered sugar. I have cinnamon sticks in this jar. And the back, I have some oatmeal. Since I buy the oatmeal at Costco, I have a lot of it. So I keep some where I keep my breakfast. And then I keep some here um, for baking, if I need it for baking. Now here on this shelf, I just have an enamel bowl on this cake stand, um, this vintage sifter, and one of those spoons. Y'all remember those old spoons? Your mom probably had one in the kitchen. <laughs> With the fork. I've only found the spoon, so I have that there. And then here are some milk glass mixing bowls, and this is a set of four bowls. I use them to mix everything from pancake mix. Um, I can't use it for waffle mix because I make a, a nice batch when I do waffles. But eggs, all that, anything I use for that. On this here shelf, I have a cast iron, um, I guess like cupcake cornbread. And this for Christmas. It has like the Christmas tree reindeer there. Here, are, these are some more vintage um, milk glass bowls. And these go to, I'm trying to think, do these go to the sunbeam? Um, they don't have a name on it, but I don't remember if they go to the Sunbeam, the Sunbeam mixer or what, but I have an extra set. So, um, I have the Vintage Sunbeam mixer, and I have bowls for that, and then I have these right here. And I use these for batters, anything I need. I also use them for garbage bowls. If I'm, like, peeling potatoes, then I put the um, peelings in there so I can take it to the garbage. And then I have this scale here with some vintage dish towels. All right, on this side here, if you hear a really loud noise, that's my refrigerator. It's really loud. <laughs> okay, so on this side here, I have some more milk glass bowls on this cake stand. This is a cake stand from the Target Dollar Spot. I want to say maybe last Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. And here are these bowls. This one here is a milk glass vintage batter bowl. Awesome. And this is by 
Fire King. This is a Fire King bowl. And you can put your batter in here, pancakes, and I love it because it has a spout. And then here are just two of the swirl milk glass mixing bowls. I don't know if they're different, more sizes, but I just have these two. I'm assuming there may be four sizes, but I've only found the two. So I just keep these in here until I need them. These are some Spring Blossom Cinderella Bowls, and I just have three. I'm missing the second to the smallest. So I have three in here. And then here's another cake stand I just have these sitting on. Here on top, I have um, the false graph canisters that I have flour in. Most of, most of the my baking item. Then I have my KitchenAid mixer over to the left. Now here are my cabinets down here. Um, let's start with the door on the left. Now here the door on the left. I have um, this little batter. It came from a, well I can't think of what you call it. Um, I'm sorry I can't think of what, what you make <laughs> with this but I bought it. It came with that with the um, batter mix in it. So I just keep like my baking spatulas in here. I have some shortening cake mix, um, cake mix frost, cake mix frosting. More cake mix, and then back up in here, I have cup cake liners in here, and I have some more parts to my KitchenAid mixer there. And then this here is a stacker and I have um, like some cans of pumpkin mix, um, coconut and bacon, extra bacon powder, um, morsels like vanilla chocolate, milk chocolate, cherries, all anything dealing with that anything that I would need for baking is what is on this side here. Now the drawer here. These are the things that I use for their lunches, any canisters, paper bags, because a lot of times they just want to take a paper bag so they can toss it, um, Ziploc bags here, and then here's some more little small containers, the larger container my husband has, but um, some of the other containers that I use to put their um, my daughter's lunch in, and here's some little, I use these from here you get them from like Dollar Tree. I use them for sauces. Now this drawer here, I have other bacon items. Here I have um, food color containers. My daughter was making Play-Doh the other day and oh my gosh, I left out the room for a few minutes and we had about six different tubes in here now we only have two okay so, <laughs> so I have food coloring in there I have baking cocoa in here I have baking powder in here um some little toppings for like cupcakes back here I have food I mean flavor um flavor like vanilla flavor coconut lemon flavor some more um baking cocoa here I have like some little toothpicks for baking gelatin some more baking powder there here are some little jello molds I have here I picked these up from Dollar Tree long time ago I don't know if they still carry these um, and then I have some little plastic cupcake liners and then these here little squares I have a few of these I will put these in the lunches too sometime to separate for my my youngest anyway um to separate food items as well as these little plastic cupcake liners K 
Okay, over on this side in this cabinet are the breakfast items. So I'll have cereal in here. We just um, used the last cereal this morning. So I have cereal in here when I have it. Pancake mix, oatmeal. I have some cream of wheat, grits, some gluten-free pancake mix. Yeah, some pancake mixes back there. Oodle noodles, y'all know you can't um, live without the oodle noodles. A really quick um, <laughs> breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever. Um, so that's all the breakfast items are on that side. Now these very bottom drawers here. On the left side, I have some more baking tools. I have my measuring, my glass measuring cups here. Um, I, I have these here bowls. You can bake in them, so you can make little cakes. I use them sometimes to make small cornbreads. Um, here I have like a little cookbook. It's like a little baking cookbook. My friend Tony sent me these, and these go on crust to keep them from burning cookies. I, I haven't used them yet. I forgot, we forget my husband makes sweet potato pie. We could have used them then. Right here I just have some metal um, containers. When I make like personalized pot pies, I have those just extra because they're not easy to find. Here I have some more measuring cups. These some little ice cream measuring cups. Found these at the thrift store. have these little like probably like custard items but what I do with these sometimes I'll take this one and this one put cornbread mix in here sit this inside put it in the oven and it makes a little um, cornbread bowl some more of these here then I have these little dishes for baking as well I have four of these and I have some lemon squeezers. This is a milk glass lemon squeezer. And then I have a glass one. And I have these for that, um, you know, when you burn souffle or whatever you call it. I have two of these for that. Okay, over on this side, I have some more jello molds. Like these little Christmas ones. Here. I have this tool here, and these um, go there. Okay. Um, here's some more like to cut fruit. So I have this here. Um, popsicle makers. And here, these go to the Jello mode. Popsicle makers, and then I have cookie cutters for my youngest, cause. Sometimes when I make her sandwiches, I will cut out the different shapes. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you got some ideas on how to organize some of your items in your kitchen. As far as your baking items, some of your lunch preparation items, as well as breakfast items. Please like this video if it was helpful to you. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.